Boom. Welcome back. Boom. 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 Let's finish this. It's now or never. Finish him. That's all the Mortal Kombat song. Conduct a car. You really sort up my evidence before I continue. In my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor car yet. Feels empty. Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him throughout the train train at all. Last we saw him was when he left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. <laughs> Nothing we can't figure out! Come on, time to investigate! Shadow just seems so done with her. Yeah, Shadow's like, fuck God. Let's crack on. Why, doggo? First things first. What does the screen do? I've noticed these screens throughout the entire train! Yeah, they used to show information and advertisements. They're nice, the picture's really clear. I will watch a full movie on one. I saw a slide that said Happy Birthday Amy, that was so cute! The next ad being for nasal medication was a little jarring noise. <laughs> the high quality picture screens probably didn't do that at any favours. Not at all, perhaps too much detail. Speakers. A microphone. We can talk to the whole train with this. Hmm, should I say something? Stupid boxing. Jake, know why are you reaching for the mic? <laughs> Just uh, offering, I guess, some musical entertainment. That was impressive, Jake Gyllenhaal. Thank you for sharing. That is like. The fuck? <laughs> I didn't realize these robot arms could also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access every function on the train like the conductor can. Did they teach you how to drive it? Oh, no. Just how to work the microwave. I recognize some of these functions. Maybe I could drive the train. I completely trust you to drive the train. Same, actually. It's true. You could drive this train flawlessly. <clears throat> you have a whole fucking plane. Oh, uh, guys. Trick dog. Hmm, what's this? Was someone playing darts? That's not a throwing dart, that's a blow dart. A blow someone put a weapon onto this train. That shouldn't be possible. Tells us right, the train detects any weapons on a passenger before throwing them on board. Well, explain this then, fuck nuggets. What does that you to? Let's go. Event. Event? Who invented? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the large one seems like at least one person can fit through. Not a problem for me, but I'm not sure how you get up there. Tells us us. You can fly. Wait, why wouldn't it be a problem for you? Oh, the uh, the tails. Right. Jake John Hall. Oh, oh the idiot! Stupid. Ah, oh, there's a mug on the left. <laughs> go on then. You know, I remember <gasps> that. I need to check the trash bin. You just asked for a funny clue here before, huh? I know they say always oh, check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go out on my hike. That's a good actual idea. I want to check out. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're checking it. You gave in so easily. Will you be okay if there's nothing in there? I found something once. No one can take that away from me. I'll be fine. Hmm. Nothing in there, huh? Oh no, you look so sad about it. You two have been talking over the trash can for a while now. <laughs> Did you find something? Yeah, I want to see it in the clean. Maybe just leave Jake to the whole line for a second. <laughs> Mug. Did this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure. Wait, what's it say on the mug? A cup of joe in your hand, wife by your side, paradise. The fuck is this shit? Oh, I'm right, we get it. He loves his wife. I'm personally gay myself. I personally love Sonic. <laughs> this robot arm has been completely torn off. Yuck, how creepy. That arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break out of its grip. A lot of people have here have their, slight, their strength to tear this off. But the question is why? 
Question is, why are you dyslexic? <laughs> yes. <laughs> a confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log We should log this. Or maybe you're illiterate. Maybe. I don't know. Either or. <laughs> Hi, sir. I'm here to uh, spread information about the um, illiterate club. Can you uh, read what it says for me? Uh, no, sir. I'm illiterate. Why, why didn't you read it to me? All right. Sure. Are you okay, sir? No, I'm illiterate. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, what's your name? Um, I don't actually know. It's on my name tag here. Sir, I can't read that. I'm illiterate. Oh, I'll read it to you. <laughs> Is yeah. that an A? <laughs> pom pom bag? And have to get another bag for my stuff? Or a universal bag? And not have to get another bag? Whichever one works for you, Avril Lavigne. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad it's gonna be on YouTube. Oh. <laughs> Can you tell me I'm wrong. No. <laughs> so, you can't, please. No, yeah, I can do that. Cheers. No worries. You know it's the bag. I'm not Avril Lavigne. My yeah, pants are not wasted. Confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should like this. And I don't have to care. What do you what were you just saying? I was reading the thing. Right. I don't know if I trust that. You had a pretty jumper on. Yes. I thought so. I'm going out naked. You're not naked. If I don't have long sleeves, I'm naked. So I'm putting a hoodie on. Was he just a skater boy? <laughs> said see you later boy. <laughs> he wasn't good enough for you. No, but you good enough for me. Right. Hey sir. Broken robot arm is added to your inventory. We haven't even checked half of the room yet. But we found enough clothes. Let's have the ambient sell this once for all. I wanna look at the photo. There you go. Do I still look like Avril Lavigne? Yes. Bitch. <laughs> That's okay. She's pretty. She's a pretty aesthetic. Her aesthetic is what I want to be. You're pretty young. He's handsomest. Alright. You keep doing your thing. Yup. Ryan will be back eventually. Don't Sorry. let me lose them. Oh, right. Thanks. Thanks for the chocolate. <laughs> Can you get me some water? Huh? Can you get me some water? Yes, madam. Well, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. He's been here a long time. After 30 years, he told me he's... Mm, Finally retiring. He said he's heading to Spagonia with his wife. I hope they have a great trip. It was just a shock. True, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know which one you wanted. Why are you Both. taking me out of two water bottles? Because. <laughs> he's practicing it's like double motion. Uh. Wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Oh, Alright, well, let's get going. Enjoy your shopping trip. Where are you going? You can't come shopping with me. I will. I don't know what it is. May any future sorrow be fleeting. Uh, yes, I bet you have to. Oh, we have enough clues, by the way. Oh, sweet. Well, you do think you've had enough evidence for me to call everyone here? It's hard time where he's named a suspect. What do you think, Jake? You're ready to solve this case? No. Yes. Hi, everyone, this is the birthday girl speaking. Please put that cardboard for his the bit fit boo. At once. Not at twice. At, at once. once. Everyone. <laughs> Everyone. Wonder what have you all here? Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect. With this is from Jake Gyllenhaal. Why isn't Sonic showing up? Can I take Wicked shopping with me? Mm, no. Probably not. No. I wouldn't. But he's so excited. Except if you, except if you drop, if you drop him. 
won't drop him. You, mm, I'll put him in my bag. Leave him here, my love. Fine. See, they don't want you to have fun. But real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? He must still be pretending to be dead, lazy bum. Ready? Let's go get him! <laughs> Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight? The air in here is so intense, I love it. Nothing like a thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities, I feel so catered to. Evidently, I've been having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of a chase. I see why you're a detective outside of this mystery, Espio. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. But on this chain, I am but a humble poet. I'd be willing to do an e event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. You do an escape room on a train? I love escape rooms! Count me in! I'm so glad everyone's having a good time. Maybe we could ride a train just to relax sometime, darling. <laughs> yeah, that'd be, that'd be fun too. I was waiting for it. <laughs> ah. <clears throat> what in the world? That, that's Amy's voice. <laughs> Quick, where's Amy? <gasps> Door. <laughs> he, he, he's always smiling to us! Sonic! Sonic! What, is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic, Sonic, can you hear us, darling? He's banged up. If there's a pulse, it's weak. This is awkward. <laughs> Do you both open the door? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sit him down, Vector. Make sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. I knew one of you would take this too far. <laughs> what? <laughs> when would he do this to Sonic? Oh, my birthday, no less. Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. So I'll ask again, which one of you did this? Fucking pose. <laughs> this is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I put mine in there so I don't get them mixed up. You check. Is it your one? Okay. No trust in this relationship. I was making sure you didn't put mine back. The poor scared a girl. She said, see you later, boy. She <laughs> said, see you later, boy. <laughs> Wasn't good enough for her. <laughs> <clears throat> That's so dumb. I'm going to expose the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but somehow he made his match. I'm going to help you get the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Me too. Same. We couldn't figure out exactly what happened in this room and punished the one responsible. S Sonic, he really was hurt this whole time and I did nothing. I'm writing my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Tails, Jake Gyllenhaal, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Um, I'm going to say this. Um, the only person who apparently... We don't have a full thing for his Espio. Because Shadow said that he went to the car and Espio wasn't there. He actually went out of his way to look around. But also like Tails and Amy. We were with them the whole time. Not Amy. And also that was the whole start bit. No, okay, hold on. Yeah, there was a whole start bit, but we were with Amy in the room when Sonic died. Okay, the two of them were with us. Yes. Knuckles... Vector we're in the library and Shadow, Shadow were playing arcade. Yeah. Espio was reading. In the book, and when he got back when Shadow got back, Espio wasn't there. Mm. Rouge, Rouge went, went, went into the library, library but then to went get back. The map, yeah, to get the map for the things that got mm. back and Blaze was just in the room. I'd say Espio. Yeah. But like it'd be funny to say Tails. It would be funny to say Tails. But it wasn't. It's Espio. Espio, you were the one to murder Sonic. Weren't you? I had no such thing, my young friend. But if it's a battle of wits you wish, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What the? You're accusing Espio? We already talked about this. The man was reading him nothing. Resetting Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. 
Espy was locked in the library car reading. He only had access to the saloon card during the murder. However, a new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. No evidence? Oh, that's right. Jake Gyllenhaal, could you fill everyone in? What did we find that brings into question Espy's alibi? Yeah, he's got a hidden passage. Espio could have left the library car at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library car to the lounge car. In the lounge, a hidden passage exits behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we fa even found it. I'm leaving in a few minutes. I just came to sit. Okay. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors that would put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence I use any secret passage. <gasps> Answered all your questions without flaw. I was reading the entire thing, remember? It's true, you didn't miss a question. But I think Jake Gyllenhaal and I can explain that too. Jake Gyllenhaal? How did Espio know everything in the train manual he was reading? It's because he's a ninja or a poet? He's a poet. Espio's a poet. I feel such I feel such a profession would make you quite the reader. What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it. Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. What? That's absurd. Memorizing a whole book? I know this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know, it is plausible. Espio is particularly skilled. I've known Espio a long time. He once sped out a book I was about to read just to spoil the ending for me. <laughs> if I'm right and Espio quickly memorized the book before entering the hidden passage, the Nespio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car, where he was murdered. Since we're only talking in what ifs, let me throw something at you. How was it to know? How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. That's right. How would Espio have known? How would Espio have even known it was there? You said it yourself, kid. You're lucky to find the passage. Jake Gyllenhaal and I might have not have been the might not have the evidence to answer your question, but we know someone who does. Jake Gyllenhaal, who here has evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? Shadow. Those are the item. What? Maybe you give me a hint. They told us we can see something later, and now's the time to talk. Take a look. Who told us that? Who was has the evidence to prove Espy knew about what? Oh, oh, um, Rouge, because the the blueprints, the map, they're in the library car. They would have shown the secret passageway. Hmm. Oh, you guys using your brains. We need to, oh, dude, we need to play. We need to play by Ace Attorney. <laughs> we need to play Ace Attorney, dude. Bruce, we need those blueprints. Blueprints? You stole blueprints? Whatever. I already used it to scout for my treasures. It came up cold, darling. You can have it. Darling. Yeah, I'll do the whole Edna Mode fucking voice for Rouge. Did I start a timer? Did you? No. <laughs> no, I didn't. Blueprints right into your inventory. This right here is a blueprint to the entire train. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Root had them. Well, Jake Gyllenhaal, do you have an answer for him? How could Espio have seen those blueprints? Because bouncing back and forth between voices is fucking throwing me off. Espio found them before Rouge did. There's my water. Oh, there, thank you. Rouge, where did you find the blueprints? Oh, uh, the library car. It was stuffed with the brochures. I checked the saloon car first, then found the blueprints after leaving. So that means Espio had time to find the blueprints and discover the hidden passage. In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints and then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. Within Amy's guidelines, the murder can kill a single participant however they choose. The logistics are still... Smile. The logistics are still vague, but Jake Gyllenhaal and I have evidence of how Sonic was murdered. Blue dot. Mm. I'm not sure how much harm Espio caused Sonic, but Jake Gyllenhaal and I have evidence on how it was done. Oh, this is rich. Pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? Blue dot. Blue dot. Okay, leaving. See ya. There's also the park in the rubber down, but... I stole in my rider. Yeah. Hello. I'm now stressing to walk past your dad. Dap me up! Go check the side. They keep going around the side. Anyway, oh, bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. bye. I'm taking your keys. Get yeah. this one. Okay, now to form my argument. Uh, Coat, you're close. You're cl so close. <laughs> that background is throwing me off. <laughs> I really don't like it. 
didn't jump, apparently. I'll just jump over, that's fine. <laughs> oh, I need ten more. You got ten off. Fuck. Ten. Perfect. I could have left it at sixty nine. Oh no. This blood was found here in the conductor's room. Yes, this blood art. Yes, this exact blood art. I believe the SPA used this to knock Sonic unconscious. So you mean Sonic might just be knocked down? I'm unsure. He's more banged up than that. What a blood art would do. According to Amy's rules, a blood art counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? You deny the allegations? Of course I do. Let me present the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Ah, shoot, that's a good point. But Tails is on something. I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors and Espio didn't have a key. He would have had he would have had to take the hidden passage. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up back in the library. Jake Gyllenhaal and I know another way it could have been done. What we do? What piece of evidence do we need to take a closer look at? It's either that or the fact of there's a vent. If it's broken and the fact that they're in every room, would that not mean they're all connected? True. Hmm. We'll go with it. Yeah. No. No, no, it's the blueprints, blueprints, because there's a vent. No, there's one of the blueprints. I just try both of them. Okay. Yeah, see? Okay, yeah, because the whole, um, there's a vent up there <clears> and it would have led to the end. Yeah. Boing. Yeah, there's a lot of shit now. That's fine. Actually, it makes me concentrate. Okay, I got way more than enough. Heaps of rings. Fucking killed it. Crazy with it. Alright, let's take a look. If SBA didn't take the secret passage to get to the dining car, then what route did he take to get to Sonic there? There's a path above the conductor car, and it goes all the way to the dining car. Ha, huh, I didn't even see that area. Is that some sort of long attic? According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it through the vent over there. The vent, of course! That must be the entrance to the path! Allow me to check it out. My word. There is a path back here. And a track! A track? Huh? A track for the robot arms, I think. This must be the path the arms take to move throughout the train. See? So, you're saying I somehow fit with Sonic in that vent and took him to the dining car? Tails, you're a smart kid, so I knew you'd realize we both couldn't fit up there. Yes, Joe's right. This is feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic through that vent? The arms. Mm -hmm. <sighs> <laughs> More thinking and more running on some colourful tiles. After this, we can check how long it's been going on for because I'm not sure. Yeah. Fucking damn, man. That's <laughs> fucking chill. <laughs> fucking bullied it. Right, how long has it been recording? 
Wrong one. Long enough. Oh, so we'll find out next time. How do you do it? How do you do it?